Welcome back for another installment on how to tie ties. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the Nikki knot. Basically, the Nikki is a foreign hand or a Victoria knot on steroids. It's just simply bigger, but slightly asymmetrical, unlike a Windsor or half Windsor knot. Its name is derived from the Milanese tie maker Nikki, and it was actually invented by their salesman Ernesto Kurami, who just came up with this knot. It has been rather popular in Italy, but outside of Italy, it never really made its mark. In terms of size, the Nikki knot is between a four in hand and a half Windsor. So the Nikki is right here. So basically, in the grander scheme of things, you have the full Windsor is very big, half Windsor, and then the Nikki and the four in hand. As you can see in this example, it's still a big knot because I used a very thick silk tie by Ford Belvedere. If you use a thinner tie, it will be a smaller knot. Here is how you tie it. You want to start seam side up on both ends and you want to have the shorter end, the slimmer end on your right hand and the wider end on your left hand. Slim end should be about a hand and a half above your waistband. The slimmer end goes on top of the white end. Then you bring up the white end from the top, pull down, and then you pull it to the other side. Now you bring back the white end back over and back up. If you have a little wrinkle, make sure you get rid of that. Now you pull the knot tight and you bring back the front shell of the tie back through the knot. Like so. Hold it in place and pull through. If it falls over, make sure it unfolds. Pull. Put in a little pinch if you want a dimple. And uh, if you like it in place, pull the slimmer end up and wiggle until you like it. Now it's time to adjust the knot. Look, that you, that you want it, okay. I like the dimple now. And I pull a little further in the back until I like the entire look of it. Move it around, and there you go. Voila, the Nikki knot. The Nikki knot works with a thin tie, a medium thick tie, and a thick tie like this yellow jacket silk one from Fort Belvedere. In terms of color choices, this type of knot is best with a medium spread to slightly cutaway color. Um, it's not ideal with a really widespread color like this one because you can see the tie ends on the side which you should avoid. A classic collar may also not be ideal because the collar is much narrower and it may overlap with the notch. So ideally go with a medium spread to slightly spread shirt collar and you'll be fine no matter if you have a thin or a thick fabric. Obviously it's a big knot so don't wear it with tap colors, collar pins or bars because it simply won't work. If you want to wear a collar pin or a tap collar, go with the oriental or the foreign hand knot. If you're in need of high quality ties in short, regular and long lengths, please visit our store now. If you like these videos and you want to learn more about ties or tie bars or other things related to men's clothing, sign up and we will send you an email as soon as there's a new video out. Thank you. See you next time.